after you do all of that, after you complete all of that, you see the big dirty mouth, so the mouth, long white tongue, dirty mouth, man, them. Don't make them put them dirty mouth in your nice clean tooth, and after you do all of that. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Babel West. If you're new, please subscribe, turn on post notification, like, share, and comment. So today I'm back with another video, and today's video is I'm here to give you ladies some tips on how to keep your tooth in and fresh and clean. You feel me? Yes, sir. So yeah, I'm here to give you guys some tips on how to keep tongue there fresh and clean and smelling good because me can't believe so in a big week 2020 girls still walk around with messy tooth and all that just not cute so yeah i'm here to give you guys some tips on how to keep down there so take note and thank me later so tip number one what i want you guys to do is drink a lot of water yeah drink plenty of water it is important to drink a lot of water tip number two i want you guys to wear cotton underwear or mesh of course you're not gonna wear mesh every day but you know every now and then down there need some fresh air you feel me so yeah wear cotton underwear or mesh tip number three when you guys taking a shower do not put all kind of different soap and shower gel up inside there that's not the proper way to wash it remember the tutanana does clean for itself so do not put a kind of different soap and shower gel up inside there that is not the way out to wash your tooth nana tip number four make sure to sun dry your underwear i don't know how you guys just do it but how i just do it is i just wash my panty every time i'm taking a shower and at the end of the week i just wash everything and sun dry it sun drying is important for your underwear ladies remember ladies you only have one two to nana keep it tight keep it right and keep it clean it's only one two to nana so make sure you take care of two to nana and the next thing what i want you guys to do is get familiar with your body get to understand your body get to figure out your body and get to know your body so you know what i just do every time i'm taking a shower i just smell my underwear to see if there's a different smell so i could know what to do and how to approach it so yeah tip number five i want you guys to shower often at least two times per day is good enough it could be more but yeah two times per day is you know normal and good enough so yeah i want you to shower often tip number six what i want you guys to do is stop using toilet paper or tissue down there use wipes especially when you're using a public bathroom you know the previous person before you could drop the tissue you don't know you just come use it wipe down there and right there and then you pick up an infection right there it has some small wipes you could carry in your purse or if you're carrying a handbag you could carry the big one whichever one you want to use but yeah wipes is the proper thing to use to wipe down there or your rock but try to avoid using tissue or tally paper tip number seven i cannot tell you how to live your life what i could advise you to do i could give you advice on how to keep down there fresh and clean so of course i'm not going to sleep with a whole set of different partner try to sleep with one partner at a time because going around sleeping with that whole set of different partner could give you std you know everybody have the different smell every, everybody have the different odor so right there you know down there could pick up a smell if you go around sleeping with all kind of different man like i said before i cannot tell you how to live your life i'm just giving you advice on how to keep down there fresh and clean so yeah tip number eight shave your tutu nana shave or near whichever one you want to do especially in the summertime right now you know the tan does be very very hot so yeah it's important to keep down there low cut so you could get fresh air and down there would smell fresh and clean you feel me ladies let me tell you something it's very embarrassing to sit and hear men out there disgusting this discussing um females tutu nana and I personally feel embarrassed whenever time I hear somebody speak about other female private area because I know I keep mine fresh and clean so 
you know, when you females out there give Adam men reason to talk about down there so they feel like everybody's the same and absolutely not because I personally keep my tutsinana fresh and clean at all time. You feel me? Yeah, so tip number nine. What I want you to do is to shower before and after intercourse. It is very important to shower before and after intercourse yeah so tip number 10 yes sir listen carefully ladies it is very important to steam your tutanana after period every month yes trust me it is important so you have a whole lot of things you could use to steam down there and especially home remedy home remedy is very good and trust me it works i could tell you some of the things that i just use you could use warm water with baking soda you could use warm water with vinegar you could use warm water with garlic you could use warm water with salt and if you're from jamaica you must know the bush for name dark blood bush it is a very important bush and it's a, a, you could use it for many different reasons but i personally use it for one purpose and only one purpose after period every month um for example if i want to use it on a monday i try to get it over the weekend and what i did is i put it in the sun to dry for a day or two so when i ready to use it on the monday now I boil it boil it boil it until I started to smell it so that's when you know it's ready to use so I pour some in the container that I'm gonna use to steam and meanwhile I'm steaming down there I'm drinking some you know you're gonna make some like some tea but use small amount of sugar so meanwhile steaming down there you're drinking it and trust me it does work take note and thank me later so yes it does work and last but not least ladies stop using douche douche is not good for down there a hundred and one time stop using douche douche is not good for your tutanana you know you have some strong chemical in there and that could throw off a ph balance so yeah stop using douche i repeat stop using douche it's not good i you see after you do all of that and you keep down the fresh and clean and nice i see the big dirty soddy mouth long white tongue stinking mouth man them don't make them put them dirty mouth in your nice clean tutu than after you spend so much time and keep down your fresh and clean the dirty mouth man them I repeat I said the dirty mouth long white tongue soddy soddy mouth man them no make them put them dirty mouth in your nice clean tutu nana you hear me say ladies on a better take notes you know and before me end this video moon I would like to give a shout out to Kimberly Davis. Shout out to you, girl. You always supporting me. Thanks for the love. Do remember to turn your post notification on so you don't miss whenever time I post. Like, share, and comment. And for sure, I'll be back with more videos.